I'm John Pilly, and this is Chaser, our six-year-old protocol. The purpose of this film is to demonstrate Chaser's ability to learn the name of an object on the basis of mental exclusion. That means that we will ask her to find in the presence of familiar objects, that is, objects that she already knows the name, to find an object that she has never seen and the name of which she has never heard pronounced. First we will demonstrate Chaser's knowledge of eight familiar objects to my right. Then we will take Chaser out of the scene and we will place among those, replace those objects among one another and place a novel object that she's never seen and an object for which she has never heard the name. Chaser, find tortoise, find tortoise, find tortoise. Yeah, there's tortoise, but tortoise in tub. Good girl. Chase, find backpack, find backpack, find backpack. There's backpack, shake backpack, good girl. Shake backpack, put backpack in tub. Chase, find pregnant, find pregnant. Yeah, there's pregnant, put pregnant in tub. Yeah, Chase, find sugar daddy, find sugar daddy. There's sugar daddy, put sugar daddy in tub. Sugar daddy, Chase, find red riding hood, find red riding hood. Find Red Riding Hood. There's Red Riding Hood. Put Red Riding Hood in tub. Red Riding Hood. Find ABC. ABC. Find ABC. There's ABC. Put ABC in tub. ABC has got A, B, and C. Find Valentine. Find Valentine. There's Valentine. Put Valentine in tub. In tub, in tub. Now, find wow. Find wow. Put wow in tub. This is wow because wow's got two heads. All right, catch. Put wow in tub. Okay, chase drop. Okay, now we're going to replace these objects, take Chaser out of the scene, and then we'll proceed with the second part of demonstrating Chaser's ability to learn the name of an object on the basis of exclusion. That is, she knows the name is not one of these. Therefore, she mentally infers, as do children, that the object that Pop-Pop wants is the one that's not any of the eight. Here we are back. We've replaced all of the eight familiar objects that for which Chaser has a unique proper noun name. And we placed among those eight objects the novel object that she's never seen. It's a cloth animal like the others. And she's never heard the name that I'm going to give it. Chaser, find airborne. Find airborne, Chase. Find airborne. Get airborne. Pop up wants airborne. Get airborne, Papa, Chaser. Find airborne. Get airborne. Do it, girl, do it. Do it, girl, do it. Do it, girl. Bring it to Papa. Bring it to Papa. Bring it to Papa. Airborne. There's airborne! Good girl! Good girl! Papa puts airborne. No! Put my put, put, put object in tub. Put in tub, put in tub. Chase, put in tub. Out, out. Good girl. You did good girl. Yeah. Some, of you may, some of you may have noticed that we did not ask her first to find two familiar ones before the novel. Maybe she picked that novel item just because it's novel. We all like novel. Well, this time we picked a different cloth animal, one that she's never seen, one that she's never heard the name we're going to give her. 
and we're going to ask first bar to find two familiar objects. Chase, find Valentine. Go find Valentine. Find Valentine. Get Valentine. Find Valentine. Get Valentine. There's Valentine. Put Valentine in tub. Catch Valentine. Put in tub. Chase, find pregnant. Find pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Yeah, there's pregnant. Chase pregnant. Okay. Chase. Chase, come here. Find charcoal. Find charcoal. Pop Pop wants charcoal. Find charcoal, Chase. Find charcoal. Get charcoal. Do it. Do it, girl. No, go get charcoal. Get charcoal. Get charcoal. I want charcoal. Bring it to Papa. Bring it to Papa. Yeah, bring it to Papa. Come on. There's charcoal. Good girl. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Catch charcoal. Okay. Put it in tub. Put it in tub. Chase, put it in tub. Out, out. Come here. Lay down. Okay. The hypothesis is that She's asked to find an object that she's never heard the name. She knows that it's not any of the other eight. And as we said earlier, the hypothesis is that she, like children, makes a mental inference. Well, if he wanted one of these others, he would have said so. So he must want this one I've never seen. Again, this is a type of learning that's different from classical or operant conditioning that most lower animals use in order to learn things by association. Here there was no visual or auditory association with the name and the object. This illustrates that our dogs may be much smarter than we think.